Fire in a hole, let's cook some Schnickfleisch. That's German for stacked meat. You're gonna see why in a minute, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard. We're gonna make this awesome recipe that I got from my buddy Jorn over at uh, Udenheim Barbecue. Jorn is a, a German dude. And this is a German, traditional German dish. Uh, Schnickfleisch means stacked meat. What I got here is a uh, pork loin that we're gonna slice up into like half inch slices of pork. Just like that. About, about like that, can you see that? We're gonna cut this whole pork loin up into slices like that and get it in a bowl. And I'll show you where we're gonna go next. So uh, stay tuned. I've got my pork loin sliced up into slices and I've got a about five large Texas onions that I sliced up. Got my cast iron pot out. What we're going to do now is take some bacon. I know I got Aaron's attention now because we're going to take some applewood smoked bacon and line the bottom of the pot with it with the bacon. Good stuff, you know, bacon is good stuff, man. You don't, if you don't want to watch this, you don't have to. I mean, you could uh, fast forward it, but I kind of like doing it. You know who says that? You know who says it? My buddy Bob Algren says it. So anyway, we're gonna take and line the bottom of the pot with some bacon. Can you see that? Is that beautiful or what? I should change my camera angle so you can see down into the pot. Or I could, alternately, I could take the pot and tip it up for you so you can see down in the pot. See, I'm putting the bacon in the bottom of the pot. Can you get some more bacon in there? Just want to line the bottom of that pot with bacon. I'm not doing this exactly like Jorn did it. I'm going to do my own thing right here. But it's going to be very similar to what Jorn did. I'll show you. You'll see one more piece of bacon, Aaron. What do you think? Think we need more than that? I don't think so. Okay, that's a lot of bacon. So we got our bacon in the pot. Now what we're going to do is take some uh, onion and put some onion in the bottom of the pot, slices of onion like this, you see, these slices of onion, line the bottom of the pot with onion, like so, just like that, just like that right there, onion, nothing better than onion. Okay, we got our onion in the pot, now what I'm going to do is sprinkle some uh, Tango Joe's porchetta rub. Oh, and don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who won the porchetta rub from last week. But I'm just going to sprinkle some porchetta rub on the onion. This is a great rub, I got to tell you. I love this porchetta rub. Let me tell you what's in it. It's got uh, fennel seed, celery seed, garlic, kosher salt, white pepper, black pepper, rosemary, and oregano. You should try this on a steak. It's awesome. So what we're going to do now is take the meat and lay the meat on top of the uh, onion like that in a layer a layer of meat this is all about layering meat that's the name of it Schnickfleisch 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 so now we got a layer of meat and a layer of onion into a paper towel okay what we're going to do next is I'm going to slather on some barbecue sauce and I have my favorite uh, barbecue sauce that you can't get because this comes from Rob's Family Barbecue. This is their sweet barbecue sauce that they sell at their restaurant. It's one of the only, I don't know, can you see that okay? Yeah, Rob's Family Barbecue. It's one of the only real pit barbecues in South Florida. Only one left. There's a couple of them around, but a lot of them have gone out of business. We're going to take our barbecue sauce and slather it on there like that. And then I've also got some, some of my favorite hot sauce which is the Georgia peach and Vidalia onion hot sauce. And I'm going to put some of that on there. And uh, my, my lady won't see this video until it's too late. You know, she'll already have eaten this dinner. <laughs> when she sees it, she's going to be mad. Let me tell you what. Okay, so we got our first layer of meat. Now we're going to go down with some more onion on top of that. Another run of onion on top of that meat. And you see where this is going. We're going to layer meat and onion until we get this pot full 
of meat and onion. And uh, this is an awesome recipe. We're gonna take a little bit more of that tango spice porchetta rub, season that onion with it like that. I love this rub. And uh, don't worry if you didn't win the rub this time out, I'll be giving some stuff away again in the near future, you'll see. So you know you gotta check back, you gotta check back on me. Here's another layer of meat going on top of the onion. Schnickflation. How's it look so far? I got a little chunk right here I'm going to stick right there. Schnickflation. I'm going to come down with some more barbecue sauce. This is the uh, Rob's Family Barbecue Sweet, but they have a hot, a hot barbecue sauce and they have a uh, vinegar pepper that's excellent. A little bit more of that Georgia peach and Vidalia onion hot sauce. Let me tell you, as hot sauces go, this one is very sweet. So, you know, my lady's gonna complain about it, but it's, it's really very sweet. So here we go with another layer of onion. So you see what we're doing here. We're stacking onion on meat on onion. And we're gonna get this all stacked up in this pot. I think this is gonna be the last run of it right here. Cause that's all the onion I cut up. Right there like that. Yeah, I got enough, enough onion just to do another layer of onion and that's it for the onion and this is going to be it for the meat oh wait let's put a little tango joe's on that on that onion a little uh, the old porchetta rub if you're doing this at home and you don't have any porchetta rub salt pepper and garlic will work just fine but if you want the really good stuff you're going to go in the description and get yourself some tango spice porchetta rub and congratulations to whoever won it from last week. I don't even know myself yet because I haven't got the uh, random comment picker out. But I will. Don't you worry. Okay, so that's the last run of the meat. So what I want to do with that is barbecue sauce it with some of that Rob's Family Barbecue barbecue sauce. That's going to take care of that bottle. A little bit more of that Georgia peach and Vidalia onion hot sauce. Good stuff right there, let me tell you what. And now, Aaron, the coup de gras. We're going to hit the top of it with some bacon. Bacon makes the world go around. Didn't you know that? I think you did. So, bacon. And you know that uh, pork loin is very lean meat. So I'm not worried at all about the bacon being too fatty or giving it any kind of bad connotations. It's going to be fine. We're going to cover it with bacon like that. Two more pieces of bacon. That'll round out the uh, pound of bacon that I got here. Okay, one more. One more slice of bacon to bring it home. So how's that look? Not too shabby, eh? That's a, that's a pot of meat right there. Okay, so what I gotta do now is get this on the grill and cover it and let it go for about two and a half hours. That's how long it's gonna take to cook this mess. And then we'll come back and uh, check it out. In the meantime, I think we should drink a beer, don't you? Yeah, I think we should, so stay tuned. My schnickflation is on the pot. That's a pot of bacony goodness there, Dan. That's a new channel for you, baby. Bacony goodness. Anyway, it's going to take about two and a half hours and I'll be turning it to get an even cook on it. And for the last half hour, I'll take the cover off so the bacon can crisp up a little bit. But we're going to cover that up now and cook it. So let's have a beer. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, in the center ring, the Frosty Root Boy Mug. And here's today's beer, Redanculus. I love that title. Redanculus Founders Imperial Red Ale. Uh, Founders Imperial Red Ale has a one drawback, it's 9.5 alcohol. So if I get to be too drunk to finish this video, you'll know why. Redanculous, it's redanculous. It's got uh, a combination, it's a red, Imperial Red Ale. It's got three different kinds of hops in it. Chinook, uh, Mosaic, and Simco, Simco hops. Those are the three popular hops. Pour that sucker out that's going to be a red ale. We're expecting a beautiful red color and that's what we're going to get. A beautiful red color on that pour. 
How about that pour, ladies and gentlemen? How about that? How about that? You like that? It's ridiculous. Uh-oh, it's foaming up now. Let's take a sniff of those Simcoe and Mosaic and uh, I forgot the other kind of hops. Take a sniff of that. Oh yeah, that smells very malty. It's got a very malty flavor. Looks good though, ridiculous. Let's, let's quaff the froth off it, Roll. What do you think? It's very uh, hoppy, very malty, and it's got an alcohol bite, 9.5 uh, alcohol, ABV. Redanculous. Looks good, though. Good beer. Founders Brewing Company. Always good beer for Founders. Let's check in on our Schnickfleisch. Stay tuned. All right, my Schnickfleisch is done. I'm going to get some of that bacon off the top there. Put it on my hoogie roll. Can't go wrong with bacon. I got some pickle slices I'm going to stick on there. Making a nice little hoagie with some of that Schickfleisch and we're just going to reach right in the pot there and grab some of that out with those onions. You know that's going to be good. Get that bacon out of there. The meat's falling apart tender and that is just excellent looking. I love the onion. Too hot to eat, I bet you. Anyway, look at that. Don't that look good? i put those pickles right there. Look at that. Let's zoom in on that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. How's that look? Yeah. You better believe it. You better believe what I'm talking about. That's that schicked flesh. I'm going to cut me off a piece of that right there. You know that stuff's hot. You know, but I can't stand. I've been waiting two and a half hours to have a nosh of that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that sandwich. Doesn't that look excellent? Let me take a taste of that. Oh, man. That's awesome. You got to try this recipe. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full, but it really is good. So yeah, babies, give this a try. Uh, coming up next, you'll see who won the Tango Spice from last week. And uh, like I always say, babies, if you like this crap, please subscribe. I want to take another bite, but I don't want to talk with my mouth full. Anyway, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go up and see a new guy, Mr. Alf. Mr. Alf's Barbecue. New guy on the scene. He's got it going on. Come back next week. If we cook anything as good as this, we'll be doing good. This stuff's awesome. I really wanted to take another bite. Look how good that is. Oh, man. That's insane. The pickles really make it, too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Come back next week. I may not cook anything good, but I will drink a beer. Ridiculous. Okay, babies. See you next week. Bye.